Hi, this is Kristen, and today I'm here with Griffin's Reveal case for the iPhone 6 Plus. So this is a very th slim, uh, clear case on the back uh, with black TPE rubber sides. It will protect your phone from a three-foot drop onto concrete. It has one layer of protection and prevents body damage, dents, and scuffs. And according to Griffin, this is adding just 1.6 millimeters of thickness to your phone and has snug and protective flex edging. Not really quite sure what the flex part is. I think that means that it will go on easily onto your phone. So this case is kind of like a baby brother, I think, to the Griffin Survivor Core. So if you remember, the Griffin Survivor Core is one of my favorite cases for the iPhone 6 Plus. Um, it has six foot drop protection and still has a pretty slim profile. Um, however, it could be that for you, this is not slim enough. Um, maybe it's just a bit much. Um, some people find that the corners which flare out are a little bit too aggressive for them. Um, and they don't like the slightly rough appearance of it uh, with uh, the Survivor logo being so prominent and stuff like that. So maybe you want something that's kind of like the Survivor Core, but just not quite so Survivor-ish. If so, it very well could be that the Griffin Reveal is for you. One of the things that I really like about these Griffin cases is that they are typically quite easy to get on and off. Um, I mean they have a quite a firm feel once they are on but getting them off is not any trouble and the soft TPE rubber on the sides uh, is not going to scratch your phone or anything like that when it's getting on and off so that's nice. Alright before I put it back on or rather before I put the reveal on, I just thought I would hold these guys up side by side so you could see them. Okay, so as you can see, overall on the bottom here, we've got our Survivor Core and you can see it juts out um, quite a bit more actually than the reveal on top. And of course we have the more aggressive corners. Um, Thickness-wise, they're about the same, I think, um, but you do have a longer case because of your corners if you want to go with the Survivor Core. And also kind of a, it's a little bit flashier looking case with the design on the sides as opposed to the more sedate looking reveal. So let's put the reveal on. It's a very similar feel going on to its cousin. The core goes on firmly but without any trouble. And then there we go. So let's check out this baby here. So looking here at the bottom you can see that just like the Survivor Core we have individual speaker holes which I always like. I think that's a nice touch and Griffin puts that in most all of its cases. Um, the lightning port should, the lightning port opening should be big enough for uh, most third-party cables. I've tried a few and they all were fine. Um, headphone jack also, I've tried both L-shaped and regular headphone um, cables and they all are fine. Going around here on the sides, this uh, TPE rubber is very smooth in the hand. There's no texture to it, but the material is just kind of naturally grippy without being sticky. It's really nice. Uh, it feels exactly the same as the TPE rubber on the Survivor Core, except for the uh, lack of um, grip marks, but you really don't need it, honestly. It's very grippy. And the buttons are nice and clicky. Going around to the top, nothing much going on. And then here we've got our covered sleep wake button. So on the back, well, this is where things look really fancy. You get to see how beautiful your iPhone looks. Um, it's a very, very attractive looking case. Now, I will say that this polycarbonate looks absolutely fantastic when new. It will scratch unless you keep it in a vault somewhere aligned with velvet. You will get scratches on this case. Um, 
I definitely got a bunch of them on um, my Survivor Core here. However, unless I hold it up to the light, I really don't notice them. And I still love my Survivor Core, even though it's got a scratched up back. So I think that that's just kind of the price that you pay for using this kind of polycarbonate material. It is just scratchy. It will scratch. So if this is going to be an issue for you, don't get it. But, um, you know, if you can uh, work through your issues with scratches on a clear polycarbonate, then, you know, this is really a nice, nice case. It feels lovely in your hand. It's just grippy enough. Um, when you pick it up, if you pick it up on the sides, you always feel like you've got enough grip here. Um, and it's quite slim. You only have three feet of drop protection. And for me, that's a little bit of an issue. In general, I'm not a phone dropper and I'm very careful with my phones, but I'm also kind of paranoid. So I tend to like cases that have more drop protection. So for me, if I have to choose between six feet and three feet, I'm probably going to go with the six feet. Um, I'm going to have a natural tendency to choose the Survivor uh, Core over the Reveal. However, the Reveal is a less expensive case and three feet, you know, honestly, three feet is the most you're likely to drop your phone. So three feet should be plenty for most people. And uh, this does have a more refined appearance, certainly, than the Survivor Core. So um, I would definitely, as I said, characterize this as Survivor Core light. So if you're looking for something that is great in Griffin's family, but just not quite as survivorish, then definitely consider the Griffin Reveal. Thanks so much for watching. This is Kristen.